Soil classification. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to define binomial soil classification concepts and procedures. The agricultural value of binomial soil classification. Describe diagnostic soil horizons. Apply the knowledge and skills applicable to soil classification as mentioned above. Introduction Previous content that was dealt with in Term 2 must be linked to the current content. Master Horizons and Soil Profiles Purpose of the next lesson is to discuss the content associated with Soil Classification Concepts and Skills Soil classification There are different ways of classifying land and different countries use different systems. South Africa uses a binomial classification system that uses two subdivisions, namely soil. Forms and soil families According to this system, Soil is divided into 73 soil forms. Each of these soil forms is again divided into a number of soil families. This system is based on identifying master horizons and diagnostic horizons according to specific characteristics. Each master horizon is further divided into different diagnostic horizons. These identified horizons are then used to classify the soil as a specific soil shape. The photo below is from the book Land Classification, a taxonomic system for South Africa, used by soil experts to do soil classification in our country. Procedures followed to identify and classify soil according to the binomial soil. Classification system. Define the master horizons 0, A, E, B, C, R, N, G present in the soil profile in the field in A. Profile hole. Identify diagnostic horizons or materials in the profile. Determine the soil shape using the key in Chapter 5 of McVicker's book. Identify the family differentials, family characteristics, also using this book. Determine the soil family. Determine the texture class of the A horizon and add it to the name or code of the soil family. The value or purpose of land classification. The classification of land helps the farmer make the following farming decisions. The optimal utilization of its land. The division of his farm into homogeneous production units, camps. The physical planning of camps. Which crop should be grown? How to fertilize the crop correctly? The allocation of land for optimal production. Valuation of land. How to manage the irrigation of the crop. The five surface diagnostic horizons. Organic or horizon. High organic carbon content, often saturated. Humic A horizon, humus rich, contains a considerable amount of organic carbon. Vertical A horizon has a strongly developed block shaped structure, often dark in color. Melanic A horizon, strongly developed block shaped structure characterized by dark colors. Orthotic A horizon, an A horizon that does not qualify as any of the other diagnostic horizons. Activity slash Assessment 
Learners can also use the following sources of information to do activities. Relevant grade 10 textbooks. Core questions. The map below represents a farm recently analyzed to determine the potential of the soil in the camps and fields. This. Farmer plans to use the data below to distinguish between the cultivation strategies on the different camps slash sections of the farm. 1. Identify the process used to determine the different soil potential levels on this farm. 2. This farm is mainly divided into Part A and Part B, as shown on the map above. Identify a section that will be used for each of the following types of agricultural production. Provide only the letter A or B, and give a reason for your answer. 1. Feed production. 2. Crop production. Consolidation. The lesson covered the content as stipulated in the CAPS document. Learners who understand the content should be apply the knowledge and skills required to successfully answer questions based on the curriculum content. Learners will be able to use the knowledge and skills as a sound foundation for progression to the next topic. Soil colloids and soil acidity. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more future educational videos.